I had taken a group of middle school students to an evangelical retreat center for a midwinter conference. We had a well-regarded evangelist speaking. In his first couple talks, he built a rapport with the audience and told some jokes. And then on Saturday night, he brought the heat. To the assembled 12 and 13 year olds, he described how Jesus died on the cross. He explicated the ancient practice of execution by crucifixion. Now our speaker was screaming, sweating, spitting. That's how much Jesus loves you, he cried. And as he died, he saw your face. He whispered your name. Because you are a sinner, he had to die in your place. As a young youth pastor, it didn't sit right with me then, and it still doesn't today. If there's one thing that the Bible tells us over and over again, it's that God loves us. And from the very earliest days of the Christian faith, followers of Jesus have seen the cross as the single most important symbol of that love. Jesus tells us that the world will know us by our love. But is that how the world knows us? When people think of Christians today, what comes to mind? People think of fear and judgment and people who are against gays and abortion and science. Not love. What went wrong? How did we go from a message of sacrificial love to how our faith is known today? The cross is about peace. The cross is about love. And that's what we need to return to. We need to take back the cross.